This is Lucy Charlotte. She's a 60-foot semi-traditional stern narrowboat built by Amber Boats in 2005. I've seen a few Amber Boats come through our business in recent months and they don't disappoint. Lucy Charlotte is in fabulous condition, both inside and out. She's just been blacked July 2019. She had four new anodes put on at the same time. Very good, good condition cratch cover and the paint works in nice condition as well. So, starting at the semi-trad stern end, a quick walk down the side, you can see how shiny that paintwork is. The engine's about a shy of 40 with a hospital silence in, there's only 2,000 hours on, on the clock. See nice looking blacking, good condition cratch cover, and the gas bottles are in the forward locker there. There's two 13 kilos with a changeover valve. The well deck's a nice size, four feet long. Bench seats either side. The diesel tanks are under those seats. That's for the reflex diesel stove in the saloon. Nice glazed front doors. And in the boat we go, you'll see how warm and cosy she feels. She's fitted out an ash face ply. Wood laminate to the floor, head height on the boat, six feet six, and there's the stove. Lights in the forward steps there. And storage either side. There are lights in these display cabinets underneath the gunnels on the starboard side. Nice touch. There's two armchairs in here. All the lighting on board, by the way, is LED. And the saloon itself measures 11 feet 6 inches long. There's a Pullman style dinette next. This converts into a double bed. The storage under in these drawers. And the storage under the floor of it as well. There's a radiator opposite there. Central heating is a Webasto diesel-fired central heating system that heats two radiators and a towel rail. Lovely upholstery, matches the curtains quite nicely. And on into the galley. Granite work surfaces, there's a microwave up there with some drawers underneath it. The cooker itself is a Caprice 2040, four burner gas hob oven and grill, all sparkly clean. And here's one of those carousel type arrangements in the cupboard that I like so much. Plenty of storage on this boat. And the cupboard underneath that goes all the way back to the bulkhead for the dinette. The fridge is a shoreline, 12 volts with an ice box and everything in here that you need. The galley itself is 7 feet 2 inches long with a side hatch opposite there. So down the corridor to the bathroom. It's a sliding door here. The loo itself is a macerator pump out. Lovely ceramic basin set on the countertop. Good storage underneath the basin. Good sized shower cubicle. Out we go, heated towel rail opposite there, into the bedroom. The bed itself is six feet two by four foot six inches wide. portholes in this room. Quite like the combination on boats of bus style windows forward and portholes in the in the bedroom. That's just my personal opinion. Storage under the bed and there's a very sweet little dressing table here. A writing desk, whatever you want really. Next to that is a huge wardrobe. Now 
with four draws underneath a super deep. Next to that is a little hidey hole with the electrics in. There's a safe there as well, which very conveniently slides out. Another look back down the bedroom. Really lovely. Beautifully finished this boat, lovely fit out. There's lights in the back steps here as well. And up we go. Very clean and tidy in the engine room. There's a photograph of that on the website. Storage under the seats. It's got a large water tank, this boat. It's stainless steel, 810 litres. There is an inverter on board for 230 volts. That's a 3 kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. And back through the boat we go. Mentioned the engine. 1984 hours on the clock, so really not a lot. She was last serviced in 2018. There's the side hatch. It's got a good sized battery bank, four domestic Batteries, 110 amp hours each, and one starter. So there we go. Lovely boat. That's Lucy Charlotte. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure, and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.